what's going on guys i'm happy to announce that i am now sponsored by fade grips use code medieval to get you eight percent off anything on the site all you got to do is click on whatever you want add to cart and at the checkout enter code medieval as your code and it'll knock off eight percent on your entire order fade grips has a selection of cases for both sides of the console war both new gen and last gen so they have ps4 ps5 xbox one and xbox series x uh, they have camo looking ones they got some stripey ones or you can just go simple and get a solid color they have that as well they also make uh, uh control freak like uh products uh they got different colors different designs and they also sell some that match with some of the grips that they sell on or cases that they sell on store so you could turn around and do what i did where i bought a uh where, is it? where i bought this xbox one uh blue and white uh grip or case i keep getting them mixed up uh, I was debating on whether to go with the blue and black or the white and black. I ended up setting, settling with the the blue and white because it reminded me of the uh, that one, I think it was like called Frostbite or something. It was like a skin in uh, Black Ops 3 uh, that you got out of the supply drop and you could also get it for the operators. And then I, I paired it with the blueberry uh, grips to make it all match. Uh, but anyway, you can even get you some combo packs where it's like a little bit of everything, or you can even buy a gamer crate where it's literally a little of everything. You get a random case, you get a random, uh, yeah, random, just a random case. You get five random sets of grips out of all of these different grips. You get three sets of random color of these uh fade grips or fade branded grips and then you get a set of uh grips where it's got like different uh heights so you can kind of fine tune just how high your freaking uh thumbstick is once again thank you to fade grips for sponsoring me Th thank you thank you thank you be sure to use code medieval on fade grips to get you eight percent off anything on the site uh, unless unless like they add something that says yeah you can't i don't i don't know peace hope you like the video hello everybody we are here with split gate now i finally sat down and played this game uh what we're gonna be doing today is actually watching rec uh recordings uh, let's see Huh, that's weird. That he... Huh. They're now showing up as their character rather than uh, red. Uh, so, I've been watching a lot of people play this game. Finally sat down to play it myself. I love it, dude. Uh, if you watch my Twitter, it was like, I was like, oh, I'm ready to hang up Call of Duty for this game. Uh, so right here, I was trying to go for a portal kill. I wanted, I really wanted to get a portal, some uh, portal kills. Uh, so a lot of times I, a lot of my gameplay, I actually just camped because I just, I wanted to get portal kills. Uh, I freaking love this game, dude. Like the freaking guns are amazing. And I don't know, it's kind of weird watching the recording, like in game, uh, like this guy right here and then all the enemy players. They just show up red, like pure red. I don't see that yellow character. They just show up red for me. Um, huh. Didn't know that guy was up there. Uh, so a lot, I, a, a lot of the gameplay is just gonna be me taking high ground and trying to hang on to it. It's just because it, it's. The high ground in this game, you get the high ground, and it's just, it's so hard to be killed, as long as you know what you're doing. 
Uh, right here was uh, some glass. I didn't know that was glass. Because uh, on the right side, it's there's no glass. But over here on the left side, it's glass. Uh, so I come down here. Wasn't there like a guy in my face? Yep. And I just completely like <laughs> choked that dude. After after this match, I like I picked up the burst rifle and I began to really love it. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite weapons. The um, and that gun. I I, I freaking love the uh, the default weapons. Uh, uh, one of the problems that I did have with this game was uh, um, the servers can be a little laggy. So, like, as you see right here, it is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. No complaints whatsoever. But then, like, the second match after this, it was a laggy mess, and then just afterwards, I just got mid, like mid match. I just got booted off the servers, and it wouldn't reconnect. Um. So this map, you can easily dominate just by being in that area that I am in now. Uh, it's so easy to keep the high ground. And it's like, like right here, like where I have the portal set up, I can easily go all over the place. And then one of the the tactics I used to, uh, I think uh, another match, I put a portal here or on the other side, mostly like right here, or no, actually no, on the other side I did, and then put a portal here on this wall right here, uh, free. So like I would put a portal uh, here, and then a portal here. So I would sit here, go here, shoot people over here, and then I would come come behind cover to look through the portal to check this to make sure nobody's pushing that, and then shoot them through the portal if they are, and then you know also run over here and check that. Uh, but this was my uh, first match I ever played, and yeah, I was uh, immediately in love with this game. So yeah, right here, right here, there's nothing here. This is completely open. This is not glass, but then on the other side, right here, that's all glass. <laughs> so I can shoot through this, I can't shoot through that. Uh, I didn't... I never did try the shotgun. Well, I, I, I did try it. I didn't get a kill with it. I, I could not get a kill with the freaking shotgun to save my life. Uh, the one the one thing I don't like about the game, you can't climb. So, like, right there, I should have been able to... You know, get up there, but because you can't climb... Um... I wasn't able to make that. Cause you make the jump completely or you don't make it at all. I freaking love the sniper rifle too, dude. It hits so hard. If they are missing just a little health, or if you go for the head, it's just they're dead. I get a little I get a lot of hit markers though. Just cause uh I'm not uh, a lot of them I didn't get a headshot and they're you can't one shot the body if they're at full health or, uh, I'm pretty sure you could dang yeah at the time uh, this match the match after and the match after I had no idea how to melee oh match is over uh, I literally had no idea how the how the heck to uh, melee is uh, freaking. I'm hitting E. I'm hitting F. Uh, some other weapons or uh, buttons. I couldn't figure it out. It was freaking V. I'm like, how did I not guess that one? Uh, here's another uh, stadium. That I think that's the one I 
the, the uh, por portal thing I was talking about. So this is really cool. One thing I really like about this game. Okay, so when the, when the game is over, when the game is over, it gives you like a button down here to say, or wait, I don't remember where it is, uh, it, to save a replay. It then saves a full recording from every single person's perspective of this match. I can watch everybody's perspective. I can freely move around. This is true th Call of Duty theater mode that that freaking Call of Duty ab abandoned. So this freaking indie game made by like what four people it's like a freaking better game than Call of Duty and actually gives us a theater mode <laughs> uh, uh, me. I don't remember what I was doing here I think I was just looking around oh I think this is the match that uh, I lost connection in where it was like real laggy this guy's just shooting the wall. I do want to try ranked gameplay when I unlock this. I don't know. I'm usually not much for competitive play, but I actually really like this game. I just choked that completely. Yeah, here you go. This is just million IQ strat, dude. Like, it's so overpowered. There were so many. I'm pretty sure I got a couple kills with it. But it's like, just the fact that I can just open portals anywhere on these uh, hexagonal walls or uh, whatever. Triangles. But these, like, holographic walls. And I can just sit here and make portals just about anywhere on the map and hold my ground. Kinda... Almost kinda encourages camping, but... I uh, I still got around a little bit. Although, <laughs> a lot of my gameplay is just camping, dude. Just cause of how easy it is to hold your ground. I wonder if I can turn off the uh, being able to see people, just so y'all can uh, see how it looks for me. I don't know. Um. No, I don't know why, but every time I, I swear, every like game I played on this map, I. I I played like two more matches, but I, I forgot to save them. But people kept putting portals in the center. I don't know why. I would never see anybody go through them. I just kept seeing portals being placed in the middle. And there was like one game mode where it was like... This this guy freaking made like two... Po put both of his portals down. Five minutes remaining. God, I freaking love the burst rifle, dude. Like, it's so freaking satisfying to get a kill with it. I I always hate... Yeah. I hate... I, I was mad right there. <laughs> I was like... I just get... He got lucky and hit me through the portal. Okay, so... For those who don't know... If you've never played this game... Okay. So... So, as you can see here... I can freely see through this portal. Crystal clear image, I can th see through this portal. The enemy player doesn't see this. It's just a uh, black, ma or like a black circle. They can't see through it, but they can still walk through it. And then they can turn around. Everybody spawns with, I think, two grenades or something. You can throw a grenade at the portal and uh, destroy it. Uh, 
Didn't even know that guy was there. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, never mind. Now, could have sworn there was um, another part where I, I kept like looking over there and I swear to never never saw anybody. I don't know, dude. Um, uh, let's see here. I've got one. Let's do this one. I kept trying to get a kill with the baseball bat. Because, uh, this map has a spawn for a baseball bat. And I was like, I want to use it, dude. I, I saw the baseball bat, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta use it, dude. Like, I don't want to use any guns. I just want to use this freaking... I was like, I just want this freaking uh, baseball bat, which is right over here, that text you just seen, BFB, through the wall right over here. They got cut me some slack, too, when I was uh, playing this game. I was over at my friend's house, and uh, at the time, it was, uh, I was literally on the floor. Is I had just uh, my I just I was sitting on the floor, and then had my keyboard on the floor, and then a little tiny mouse pad. Uh, so yeah, not the ideal uh, setup. But I freaking love this baseball bat, dude. But it sucked because it never failed. I would try to get it, and like my teammates would uh, my teammates would literally wait for the like right there. That my teammate would look at the enemy shooting me, wait for him to kill me, then kill him just so they could get the baseball bat. Uh. Okay. okay, there it goes. I wonder what that button is. is it? I don't know. I did try the SMG. But it really felt like a pea shooter. Hey, I ran into the guy that uh, Dismo played. That Steve, Steve is jobless. Yeah, I kept, I kept doing this because I was really wanting to get a kill through that. I think pretty much every match I played, I kept trying to get portal kills. Uh, yeah, I'm playing the playing this game with the the jetpacks. It really feels like uh, playing Black Ops Three. <laughs> I love it. I love the freaking uh, corpse launches when you're airborne. Let's see, I think this was yeah, here's the SMG. It just felt like a pea shooter, dude. How many freaking hit markers did I just get off that guy? And then I just <laughs> It's funny here is I just took the freaking baseball bat from this guy. Hold on. As he's waiting for it. Yoink! <laughs> I don't know how that didn't kill that guy. I get the one guy, but it didn't kill the other guy. Like, I don't get- I, I don't understand that. Yeah, I completely choked that dude. And then I just have three guys shooting me. Huh, I didn't realize it was a 4v4. Hmm. I'm surprised I didn't notice sooner. The one thing I, hate, I really hated about when I'm trying to get the baseball bat is like, it would never fail. It was, so, it was like there's nobody there. And then I grabbed it. And then there's like all the enemy players right there. I like, th I like that light set right there. 
That's pretty good. How didn't I not see him? I looked right at that guy and didn't see him. You wonder why I need glasses. where I picked up the bat like one more time in this mi uh, match oh yeah the rail gun too I love this gun dude it's uh, tricky to use but it one shots I freaking love it I just chase this guy down I just completely missed. I was pretty sure I picked up the bat one more time right here, maybe? Yeah. That's like nobody there. And then nobody there. Okay, let's grab the bat. And now I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. And then that was the end of the match too. I didn't get another chance. I at least got the last kill though. I think, I don't know. I did I did kill that guy. Uh, but I don't know if that was the last kill or if just another kill as the last kill was made. I don't know. Uh, well, there's a split game for you guys. Um, yeah, should I show you the other one? It's kind of boring though. It was just a, a sniper shotgun. <clears throat> it was like team deathmatch, uh, sn uh, sniper deathmatch. shotguns only. Um, where's... Where am I? Oh. Huh. That's weird. I guess when this was... Oh, I wonder if I didn't save it. I was pretty sure... I played a uh, match of uh, sniper shotguns only on this map. I could have sworn it was this one. I must not have saved it. Okay, so that wasn't the same guy. Like, I, I was shooting this guy. I'm like, I'm like, how is he not dead? I'm like, click, hit him. Click, hit him. How is he not dead? I didn't realize that was not the same guy. Nine damage. <laughs> I did a whole nine damage to get that kill. And I just died to a shotgun. 40 HP. Yep. I finally get the sniper rifle. Freaking love this gun, dude. I wonder if, I, if it's in this match or if it was in the uh, sniper shotgun match, but I hit like a freaking nasty no scope across the map. I don't know if it was this match or uh, the sniper shotgun map or match.
Yeah, that seems to be like the loadout to go is the shotgun and then the uh It almost feels like the uh the FAL. It's or like a, or no like the, the Shiva from Black Ops 3. It was like a F it was supposed to be an FAL, but it was like really slow rate of fire. Like one of the matches, I like I got like to 20 kills. One of the pro I, I don't know if I already mentioned it, but it was like the, one of the problems I was having with this game was I'll turn around and uh, do something, and the thing that I did just happened to be a Steam achievement, but yet it wouldn't unlock. Because uh, like for example, there's like a a trophy for a uh, a uh, 20 kill killing spree or uh, yeah but but yet I've done that and it didn't unlock uh, and the, I forgot what other achievements I did that just didn't unlock I don't want to talk about that one. Dude, why is my eye burning so much? Dude. I, I don't remember if it was this match or another match, or the sniper, or the sniper shotgun match, where it was like near the tail end, one of the guys on the enemy team suddenly got like really suspicious like he was like so like the whole game he's just getting absolutely dumpstered I, I killed him so many times he never once killed me and he's just he's always dying and getting his butt whooped and then it was just suddenly he's hitting ridiculous flicks ridiculous track like like obvious like it just screamed aimbot. I think it was pretty sure it was that gang gang guy. Now that I'm thinking about it, it was it might have been this match. No, that right here, I was trying to go for another portal kill. I don't even know what I was doing there. But like right, yeah, yeah, that guy. So he's just in the middle of freaking nowhere, and then just flicks over to me perfectly. Like, what was that? Huh. I think I got matched up with him again, the, the, uh, the sniper shotgun match, and it was just blatant aimbot. I never did report him, because I was like, I was like, eh, he could have gave, like, his big brother the controller or something. <laughs> but literally, it was like, he's completely clueless the whole game getting dumpstered and then just suddenly he's super good what is this oh <laughs> the up yours emote i seen this one this literally looks like something from freaking uh, team fortress like tell me i'm wrong dude like it looks like something out of freaking team fortress like a freaking uh skin for a heavy minigun or a pyro flamethrower i don't know Dude, I haven't played Team Fortress in like so freaking long. What's that sound? 
Like y'all hear that? Like, v v v v v v v like it sounds like it sounds like a car. <laughs> uh. What does that sound? It's like something from sounds like a freaking sound effects for a horror movie creature. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, they they had that split game. This game is really fun. Uh, I only played, <clears throat> I only played six matches. In just those six matches alone, I've had more fun than I ever had playing Cold War. I've had more fun than I've had in the past while playing Modern Warfare. Just Call of Duty. Call of Duty has gone downhill. Uh. I'm not looking forward to the next Call of Duty. I probably won't play it. I don't know. Uh, it's just... You sit here, they sit there and they rush out this game uh, with absolutely no anti-cheat because they know you're only going to be playing this game at most one year. If that, you're probably only going to be playing it for maybe six months and then you're going to get tired of the hackers and quit the game only to buy the next call of duty thinking things will be different it's not the company is just greedy they're never gonna put an anti-cheat in call of duty because they know you're just gonna play the game for a, at the maximum a year because you're just gonna shell out another sixty dollars to buy the next game to get hacked on every game uh, literally, Modern Warfare has gotten so bad that I run into an aimbotter in multiplayer. You would like uh, you, know, you wouldn't be surprised to be running in a cheater every game on Warzone. I'm running into cheaters on multiplayer. For example, just team deathmatch. It's just it's that bad, and the developers don't care. If they did care. There would be an anti-cheat. If they did care, a lot of the bugs that are in the game would have been fixed. If they really did care, then why is the game in the status that it is? Ban waves don't do anything. They're just gonna make another account. They don't care. They're just gonna buy another account. It's like, oh, you, you, you banned me? Okay, I'm just gonna go uh, get another account to play on. Okay, I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna cheat. Oh, I got banned. Time to make another account. It doesn't end. They're just... Banning them doesn't do anything. 